Welcome to Tech Binomial. In this tutorial, we will see how to create an Ionic service to perform the crude operations. We will utilize the Node Express servers that we developed in part 1 of this series. Let's start by creating a blank Ionic capacitor project. We will generate here one service. Create an interface I user with the fields ID, name, gender and address. In the service we will use the capacitor HTTP to call the ser uh, server methods. First is the add user method. Here we are passing the URL of the Node Express server that is already running. Pass the user object as the data and call the server method. We return the response. Second is the gate users. It's a very simple. It just return all the users. Gate user by ID. Here we use the ID to retrieve the particular user. For the update user, we pass user object as the data and call the put method of the server. Don't forget here to add the header. The delete user method delete the user by the ID. So we call the URL for the delete user. On the home page we first import the service object. Then the interface, create a service object here, first one is the add user method which calls the add user method of our service. Second one gate users. It also call the gate users method of the service and ultimately that will call the uh, gate user method of the server. Gate user by id by passing the id of the user. Update user. And the last one delete user method. So we check one by one now. We forgot here to add one field age. Now here pass the user object data. We are updating here. All the method in the constructor. So when the program run, it will add a user in the MySQL table. So the user is added, the fourth one. We call now gate users method. In the console, it's displaying the list of the users. then pass the id and call the gate user by id method so one user is retrieved here update user method
we'll check in the mysql yes the user by id 34 is updated last one is the delete user user is deleted here in the next part of this tutorial we will see how to retrieve this service and to display the data in the ag grid that's it thank you bye bye